Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another episode of the Benny Rodriguez story here on MLB 15, the show. Hitting leadoff in this game, guys, over our last 10 games, though, we are absolutely raking. We've got three home runs with 11 RBIs, 10 stolen bases, and we're batting 489. Benny Rodriguez is in the glow. He's coming off a very nice game in which he racked up four hits and just looked dialed in at the plate. Yeah, anytime you get yourself four base knocks in a game, you're doing something right. You might have gotten a couple of gifts in terms of good pitches to hit, but you know, it's not about the pitches you get, it's what you do with them. And from what I saw, the balls were flying all over the yard off his bat. That performance was big for his team, and I'm sure they're hoping he can do it again in this one. So here we go, guys. First at bat of the day, 512 on the season with four home runs. We are absolutely destroying the ball lately. <laughs> I mean, it is just, things are just going very, very well for us, even though we're at the Hall of Fame difficulty now. But in our first at bat, we are going to pop out very, very easily here to the right fielder into shallow right field. Not a good at bat for our first at bat of the day. We definitely want to start off with a hit more than, you know, something like that. At least force the guy to throw some pitches, you know. But here we are. We're going to have our second opportunity here in the top of the second. Already up 3-2 to two in this game. Two outs, though. And, guys, we are swinging at some ugly stuff. That is a bad pitch there to be swinging at the curveball, though. I've mentioned this before. I, for some reason, just have a really tough time picking up the curveball in this game. So hopefully I can, you know, start to get a little bit more accustomed to that. That time we picked the, the fastball and we actually saw it going off the edge there and we were able to hold off. Next pitch here is going to fall low and in. So, yes, we are going to be able to get this count to 3-1. and one. Definitely a good batter's count here. Next pitch, we are going to catch the fastball, and it does stay on the plate there. It kind of looked like it was going to drop below, but it brings it to a full count now. So this is the opportunity for us to potentially, uh, you know, get this pitcher pitching way more pitches, possibly run him out of this game early in this one. Our teammates are obviously doing a pretty good job considering they've already put three runs on the board here uh, in the first two innings, and they're getting after him. We're going to drive this one out to right field. Are we going to be able to get a hit this time? Damn, not quite. The right fielder does make a good play on it, but at least we forced him to pitch a few more pitches than we did in the first at bat when we swung on that first pitch. Top of the fifth now, same score, three to one, one out here. Still no man on here. We haven't had any sort of an opportunity so far in this game uh, to be able to hit anybody home, but we still do, of course, always have the opportunity to hit ourselves home with a home run. But again, we're trying to make sure that we're not swinging at ugly stuff like that. But man, that curveball, I had to swing at it. It was going to be in the strike zone one way or another. So I've got to take a you know a hack at it if I can. Oh, we got a piece of that thing, but I swung a little bit too early on that one. Probably could have been a home run if we just held off for just a millisecond longer. But it does go foul. 1-2 count here, and he's going to pitch inside with the fastball trying to push us off the plate. He does not want us to hit with any sort of confidence. But it is a 2-2 count here, and he's going to throw one down and away. That is outside the strike zone, and we are pissed. Are you kidding me, ump? Are you kidding me? You got to let me get up. You got to let me take a ball there, dude. I mean, come on. I'm having a tough time getting a freaking walk in this, in this game. I really need some help from the umpire from time to time. Next at bat here, top of the seventh. Still the same score. Again, no men on here. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Boom, baby, a deep home run to left field. We are going to be able to get the home run here. That is pretty big, guys, because we definitely were hitting pretty poorly so far. A solo shot here to left. Home run number five on the year as it's now a four to one ball game. Not too shabby, man. We are definitely happy to walk away with a home run, at least in this game, even if nothing else happens. Well, I think it's pretty fair nowadays to call this guy a young phenom out there. He's starting to get some national press, one of the better prospects around, and it gives you a look right there of why folks are so bullish on his future. Definitely happy to hear that, man. It's always good to get national press, and uh, hopefully that'll eventually push our team to, you know, call us up to the majors at some point. Texas is not that good. They don't really have, like, spectacular players, so, I mean, hopefully we're able to eventually get called up to the majors, or at least to AAA. I mean, my goodness. How much more do we have to do here at the AA level before we finally get that call up? Now, it's times like this that I, I say that kind of thing, but then here we go. With two men on, we get the three-pitch strikeout, and we are out of the game. 
So uh, that's going to do it in this game. We do walk away with the win, though, 6-4. to four. The team got 10 hits as a whole. We only got one hit, but hey, it, we made it count with that home run, so it's not so bad overall. 11-9 and nine now on the year. Our team is batting really, really well if you look at that. We're leading the league in stolen bases, doing very well in average home runs, but the pitching is just terrible. So hopefully our pitchers will eventually be able to turn that around a little bit so maybe we can make a run at the playoffs here in the AA level. If we end up staying down here at the AA level all season, hey, I mean, it would be fun to at least have a playoff run. So here we go, guys, in this game here, taking the first pitch for a strike. We do have two outs here. In the top of the first, we're actually batting, I think, cleanup here, if, if, I, if I'm doing the math correctly, which is, uh, I mean, that's something that we haven't been able to do too often, but it's nice to have the opportunity to potentially hit some guys home here and rack up those RBIs. So, man on first base here as we hold off there on that second pitch, 1-1 one, one count here, and we're looking to try and find something to drive. Oh, man, that was the pitch. That was the pitch, 97 miles per hour down though. We're not able to get under it and get any sort of power behind it. We do miss on it. So fourth pitch of the at bat here, and we're gonna hold off on this one. Again, we want this pitcher to throw something right down the middle of the strike zone, give us something that we can get some sort of power behind, and this is our chance. <laughs> shakalaka huge home run there the by the jet and we are going to be able to take the lead in this game here the two run shot is our fifth home run over our past what three games four games maybe it is just the ball is definitely coming off of our bat really really well lately with power we're not hitting for as great of an average over the past few games but man when we get the bat on the ball it is flying out of the park lately feeling very very good about our chances lately he just can't throw that pitch right there that swing tells a story right there i mean he got all of that one remember he homered in yesterday's ball game too so riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days yeah definitely playing very very well at the plate in the field we haven't had as many opportunities lately but right here we are going to get an opportunity to throw over to first base get out of this inning decent play there uh, not really too difficult let's see what happens here in our next at bat here runners at second and first base we've got a 2-1 lead currently here in the top of the third the pitcher has thrown 42 pitches so far so nothing real high or anything but uh we definitely were the one that made it count earlier in this one by hitting home both of those two runs on the board that we currently have now this pitcher is kind of an interesting delivery if you watch it's kind of almost like a sidearm type of delivery and that's something that sometimes i do struggle with and we're going to see that here as he throws it up um, it was almost like a pitch that almost instead of coming down like most pitches do it almost went up and that made it really difficult to see so i guess we're just going to get under it pop it out there to right field back in the field now here runner on first base gonna have an opportunity to turn a double play here and are we gonna be able to make it happen easy peasy good play by the second baseman as well and we do get the double play here next at bat here is gonna come in the top of the sixth again still two to one pit same pitcher still out there the guy that throws that weird sidearm delivery i mean i guess it's not like the, the weirdest delivery that i've seen or anything but um certainly not what i would call to be a standard delivery so it's something that it's a little bit more difficult to get a hold of than some of the other pitchers now again we're the only player that's hit anything home for our team in this one we've got another opportunity here at the plate but uh, without any runners on, it's going to be difficult to actually get anything home here, especially considering that this pitcher seems to be doing pretty well against the other players on our team. But he is at 80 pitches, so hopefully we can take a few here and potentially drive him out of the game early in this one. Um, we don't want him to pitch di deep into this game, obviously, if the rest of our players are not able to get much uh, in terms of hits. So let's see what we can do here as, man, he just tags the corner of the strike zone there. Now we're down 1-2 in the count here. We've got to make sure that we're looking for the right pitch here. We do not want to strike out. And we are going to ground out here, unfortunately, to the third baseman. He did have to make a good throw on it, but we're not quite able to get there at first base before the ball gets there. So uh, not really anything special there. Um, hoping potentially to turn this one around here as we've got runners on first and second here in the top of the seventh. Thankfully, it does appear that the pitcher is out of the game now. So we've got maybe an opportunity to get a good hit here against this guy. Top of the seventh here with one out. We just gotta maybe avoid the double play. If we can avoid the double play, at least we'll have a chance here to uh, get somebody home here in this inning. So let's see what we can do here at the plate. 
really just kind of, um, you know, I, I've been telling you guys over the past couple of games here that really what I've been trying to do is just hold off and wait for the, the fastballs. And that's really the kind of pitch that I've been able to drive. Now, again, it's kind of made it so that my batting average has dropped a little bit. But man, when I've gotten my my bat on the ball we are really starting to drive this thing out of the park but i'm holding off on pitches like that that one there i actually knew that was going to fall as a strike but it wasn't the pitch that i was looking for and, and with the fact that i was up 2-0 in the counts at that point i was willing to take that pitch now this one i had to hold off on because man that curveball i saw it falling in high and i knew that that meant that it was going to drop into the strike zone um and, and if you can actually get under a curveball in this game you can really drive those for home runs a lot of the time 3-1 count here, and we are going to eventually get that pitch that we were waiting for, the fastball inside, and we are going to drive it deep, deep to the center field wall, and we're going to dig in and try for the triple here. Our runner goes home, and we are in there with a bases clearing triple. Two guys score on that one, so we are up 7-6 to six now as the opposing team definitely starting to pick things up here in the end of the game, but we are going to get the final out here to walk away with the win. Another good win for the guys and they're playing some confident baseball out there right now that's their fourth win in a row so they've got things firing on all cylinders so there you have it, guys. We are going to get the win here four in a row, as he said. We're doing pretty well. We're definitely starting to improve. Uh, we are hovering around that that around that 500 range for quite some time, but we're moving on up. I think we're at, like, what, 12 and 9 now, I think, on the season or something like that. So uh, definitely a major improvement over what we did in the beginning of the year. We're starting to find our groove as a team, it seems. So we do walk away with the win in this one, 7 to 6. And yes, we are the top hitter in this game as well. They're going to give us a little interview here at the end of the game. I wish that they would actually include some audio or something. That would be really, really cool if they could somehow include that. Maybe that'll happen in future years, but uh, it's still kind of cool how they have little presentation features like this after you get a good game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, please be sure to hit that like button. This series doesn't get quite as many views as my Madden series does, of course. You know, my channel's kind of built around Madden, so that's somewhat to be expected. Uh, but the more likes that we get on this, the more willing that I'm going to be out here uh, to uh, put out new content for you guys in this series. I have a lot of fun doing this. I'm having more fun playing MLB than I do Madden, to be completely honest with you guys. That doesn't mean that the Madden content's going anywhere, uh, but just that I'm, I'm personally having more fun with it. So if you guys are enjoying it as well, again, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, if you're new to the channel, help me out. Subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I really, truly do love all of you guys. It means so much to me. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.